Hello, it's me, Carrie Ben. God bless you. Blessings. I want to speak about something very serious, okay? Uh, a lot of people say things they may not understand or know, and you need to watch what you say because there's really a devil. Okay. Number one, there was a gentleman by the name of Christopher McGroverty who worked for security for a private department but used to watch Macy's department store and I was one of the sales girls. Christopher was a very handsome man as many of you know who know him. He was considered a very handsome fella and the girls really loved him and but he liked me. Okay? And I liked him. We met each other at church. Christopher was under a lot of spiritual warfare. Yes. Yeah. What? Oh, I pick it up, but I want Locatelli cheese from the little store across from Acme. It's cheap there. Yeah, bye. Okay, so anyway, we need to clear some things up. I was furious with Christopher because Christopher was supposed to be used by God and Jesus to protect me when the first miracle happened in the Phil's turn of water. Me and Christopher at one point were thinking about dating each other, getting married, and things like that, but God did not permit it. Christopher said to me one day, Terry Lynn, God may not, you know, have somebody else picked out for us, but I like you and you like me, and I was like, you're right. What I'm trying to say is, a lot of people called Christopher a whoremonger, uh, a whore, this and that, they were trying to upset me, but I went and prayed. You also need to know that Christopher is very, very sick with a blood disease and treated at military, and he was near death, and I prayed earnestly, and he was miraculously healed to the glory of God. Christopher also stood up for me many times, did take me out to a romantic dinner. He was adorable, okay? Christopher's assignment, uh, I think, was to help me and assist me when Satan was attacking to try to block some. Okay? And I was there to pray that he not die. But me and Christopher both were attending an Assemblies of God church that was demonic in Blackwood, New Jersey, and I had a vision that people were burning in hell there. Christopher knew everybody was not saved there. And one of Christopher McGurvey's problems, and I believe it assisted to him becoming a whoremonger, as some people put it, or a womanizer, was attending that church. That church was demonic. They were doing witchcraft on him. He was baptized there at eight years old. I prayed for him and others to be protected from them. Okay. Because I prayed for Christopher to be healed of a serious disease, I felt very locked into a brother-sister relationship with him and a great love for him for years. And I know he had compassion for me and respect for me. Okay? And he loved me like a sister. And yes, we both did say at one time, uh, I'd like to marry you, you'd like to marry It was a very strange thing, but I also know it was an agape love. God and Jesus put it together for an assignment. First thing I say to Christopher McGrovey and his family, stop going to that Assemblies of God church. They hurt you. Many of you lost your virginity, and then they talked against you. Okay? They went against me when I rebuked the pastor there. Forgive and move on. The Bible says, Woe to the shepherd who scatters the sheep. But to the scattered sheep, the Lord will put a new shepherd over them, and they will bear fruit and prosper. Okay? So, fact is fact. Okay? The Bible says, The harling cares not for the sheep. Okay? A pastor is to lay his life down for people. When a pastor is not preaching and teaching right and making sure that people are okay, you are not to have that type of pastor over you. Right now in my life, they say, Terry Lynn, who's your pastor? Jesus is. I don't have a pastor over me. Would you, if you prayed miracles happening and an angel came and rescued you and beat up a man like the true prophets and you're alive today and you got people and pastors knocking on your door for help, but you don't have a pastor to help you and you're seeing all this nonsense going on and people asking for money and these big ministries not preaching right, would you want a pastor? I'm looking for a pastor. The only one I might eventually ask to be pastor over me might be Pastor Gallardo, who keeps the Sabbath holy and his military. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hello? Real estate taxes are due by March. What? It's the Republican office. So who? You want me to be a spokesperson? 
to pay home loans. Revenue at Phila.com. Taxes help support schools. You've got it, lady. 215-686-6442. I will help you be a spokesperson. Yes, but I'm doing a video. You call right as I'm doing it. They got it. All right, bye. Okay, you heard it. That was uh, the Republican Party of spokesperson for Philadelphia. They, uh, it's important to pay your house taxes in all your communities, and they've asked me to be a spokesperson because by you paying your taxes, our schools stay open. Philadelphia really needs us to pay our taxes. So, you know, uh, do you own a home? Are you having a problem paying your taxes? Call me. Maybe we could figure out a little job or this or that to help you bring in your tax money, or I could do your uh, finances, figure out a budget for you to be able to pay them. Call me personally at 267-909-9168 to help you figure out how to pay your taxes that the kids can go to school. And can we start getting better education in our schools? And this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah.